had a brilliant start to 2021. I'm Kat and we are kickstarting this week's video by having a look to find out who is the winner of our December prize, which is this little crazy splat man. So I'm gonna dive into our Christmas stocking, pull out a name and that person is gonna be the winner of our December prize. So let's have a look if I can find one. Oh, I'm gonna have to go right down to the bottom here. Let's see whose name have I pulled out. It is, it's Verity. Congratulations, Verity. Splatman will be on his way to you shortly. Um, now we have got a brand new memory verse to learn for this month. So let's have a look at it together now. It says, whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much. Luke chapter 16, verse 10. Now that sounds like a really interesting um, message, an interesting verse for us to learn about. So let's have a look at our video for this week and find out some more. What do you have? No, I'm not talking about the money you have in your piggy bank, or how full your closet is, or even whether you own the latest gaming system. I'm talking about the things that each of you has been given by a generous God who loves you more than you could imagine. God has given you time. Time that you can waste, or time that you can use wisely. Sure, I can help for an hour. Be right there. God has given you words. Words you can use to hurt someone. I cannot believe you! Or to make someone stay. Way to go, you rocked it! God has given you unique talents and abilities. Gifts you can ignore, or gifts that you can grow. Yes, God has trusted you with so much, and he's with you every step of the way to help you use it wisely. When you show that you truly can be trusted with what is expected of you, others can see God at work in you. And that's why responsibility is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Hey, buddy. Hey, who's ready for a game? Which one do you want to play first? Guess who? Oh, I got that one. <laughs> Sorry? Oh, okay. If you'd rather, here. Well, should we risk it? Oh, yes, risk it! You know, we might as well. I have all day. Uno, por favor. Um, yeah, si, mi amigo. Well, let's just connect for... Oh, connect for! Oh, th okay, I got that. That's fun. No, no trouble. Oh, pop matic here we come! That's taboo. No, this this is taboo. I mean, for this kind of operation? Yeah, well, this is the one I have. Nah, get a clue. Oh, get a clue? I, I, okay, will you just make up your mind what game you want to play? Oh, hey, John, when did you get here? What are you talking about? We've been having a conversation this whole time. No, 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 sorry. It's just John. He's about to uh, play some games, apparently. <laughs> it boggles the mind. Oh. What's that? Oh, that is just perfection! <laughs> Hello, my name is Steven. And I'm John. And this is the So-and-So Show. It is the first show of the year. Did you make any New Year's resolutions this year? You know what? I did. You know how I always wait until the last minute to get things done? I do. It makes me nervous. Well, this year I've decided I'm not going to procrastinate so much. Well, that's great. How, how, how well are you doing so far? Well, I haven't started yet. Tomorrow seems like a good day. It always does. Life is hard. No, it isn't. Life is easy. Ah, you know I'm talking about life life, not life. Come on, life. let's play it. Come on, man, it'll be fun. Uh, oh, unless you'd rather put it off until tomorrow. No, you know what? Let's play now. Oh, yeah! Oh, ah. oh man, all the games got mixed together. Ah, well. It's Bible story no, time. No, 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 no. I can fix this. No. It's time to play the game of life, so and so style. What is happening, John? 
Life is happening, my friend. Now, what would you like to do first? Would you like to go to school or start your career? I will go to school first. That was easy. Okay, let's see where you go next. Oh, right. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, you just passed go. Collect $200. Whoa. Wait, is this the game of life or Monopoly? Yes. Okay. And, oh, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you got married. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Hello. Wife, she's in 2D. Did you say D2? Oh, you sunk my battleship. <laughs> this is not life. <laughs> 11, you know what that means? I have literally no idea. It means one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, oh, 11. It was Steven in the dining room with the candlestick. <laughs> ha! No, uh, I didn't do it. This is all mixed up, John. Oh, don't worry, I'll fix it. You need an operation. Here we go. <laughs> no, 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 no. This game is over, okay? It's, <laughs> <laughs> it's Bible. It's Bible. Oh! <laughs> it's Bible story time with Kellen. <laughs> Hey guys. Hello, Kellen. What are we talking about today? Well, today we're talking about responsibility. Really, our most important responsibility. What Jesus called the greatest commandment. Some of you may know that the Bible contains hundreds of laws or commandments from God. Well, a couple thousand years ago, someone asked Jesus which of God's commandments was the most important. And this is what Jesus said. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your mind. This is the first and most important commandment. Pretty simple, or is it? How do you love God with all your heart, soul, and mind? Oh, Praying a lot? Uh, reading my Bible? Going to church? Singing? All good ways to show God that you love him. And Jesus gave us another way. Jesus said this, this is the first and most important commandment. And the second, he said, is like it. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Everything that is written in the law is based on those two commandments. So, how do you love your neighbor? Let's find out on... Love Thy Neighbor! Let's meet your neighbors. Now, a neighbor doesn't have to be someone who lives in your neighborhood. It can be someone you meet anywhere. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Then let's love that neighbor. Question number one. Brandon, how do you love your neighbor if they invite you to a party at their house? First of all, it's Steven. Um, but I can, I can bring snacks or sodas to the party. John. How do you love your neighbor if they give you a gift? Uh, send a thank you note? Ooh, good one. Yeah. I like that. Oh, thank you. Brandon, how do you love your neighbor if they shovel snow from your driveway? Okay, once again, Steven. I'm Steven. Um, and I would shovel their driveway next time. Oh, Kellen. What? Wow, that's amazing. John, how do you love your neighbor if they spend all night playing bagpipes in the apartment above you? I, I I don't love my neighbor at all. That's annoying. Agreed. Yes, very annoying. Brandon, how do you love your neighbor if they keep forgetting your name? <laughs> Funny you should say that because, um, once again, third time, my name's Steven Kellen. We have met many, many a time, and I would, I, I would say I'd probably get angry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kellen. John. How do you love your neighbor when they lose the comic book you let them borrow? <laughs> well, I don't lend them another comic, that's for sure. No way. How do you love your neighbor when they break a promise to you? Well, you know, 
I would insult them on social media. Yeah! Good idea. Yeah! Always. John. How do you love your neighbor when they take that last piece of pizza? <laughs> what kind of monster would, are you kidding me? And that is the end of the speed round. Brandon, one final question. Do you love your neighbor? Uh, I mean, it was great that they shoveled the snow from my driveway and all, but they also forgot my name <laughs> many times. So no, no, I'm sorry, neighbor. I do not love you. John, same question. Do you love your neighbor? No way! <laughs> Lay your bagpipe somewhere else, neighbor! <laughs> Annoying. You did not love your neighbor, you lost. What? Okay, well, what would the prize have been if we would have won? A million dollars. <laughs> what? Oh, no! <laughs> Let's meet your neighbors! Hey, how's it going? Huh. What's up? Attractive dude. Jesus did say, love your neighbor as you love yourself. You see, sometimes when it comes to loving people, it helps to put yourself in their shoes. Oh, oh yeah, I get it. So I think I know why you took the last piece of pizza. Because if you're anything like me, you get hungry all the time. He does. <laughs> and I like pizza a lot. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Yeah, I'm actually getting hungry right now. Hey, hey, you're not a monster. And I love you, neighbor. <laughs> I love you. That was such a... And you know, I don't like it when somebody breaks promises, but if I'm honest, I mean, let's be honest, I can let people down sometimes too. And, and I want others to forgive me, so therefore, ipso facto, I love you, neighbor. <laughs> right back at you, Brian. It's... It's Steven. <laughs> Steven. That's what I said, right? Great job, guys. You love your neighbors. Awesome. Now, where are we at on that million dollars? Jesus said the most important thing we should do is love God. And the second most important thing to do is to love our neighbors. It's not always easy, but remember, our neighbors are people who make mistakes just like we do. They're people who are forgiven by God just like we are. And it's our responsibility to love them the way that we want to be loved. Thanks, neighbor. Yeah, yeah. See you, John and Brian. Yeah, that's weird. Back to you guys. It's a good game. Yeah, and we learned something, too. Yeah, loving God and loving others aren't just suggestions. We're actually expected to love. It's one of our rules for life. We should keep track of those rules somehow. Oh, my friend, I am way ahead of you. Our number one rule for life is... Love God, love others. You know what? I'm not going to procrastinate on that one. I'm starting right away. Love you, John. Oh, I love you too, Brian. It's Stephen. Reveal the question. Ooh, what are things you're expected to do? Mm. Yeah. What are your responsibilities? You might be expected to brush your teeth before bedtime. Or help with chores around the house. Or it might be something even bigger, like... Oh, yeah. Hey, talk about it together. And we'll see you next time on The So-and-So Show. Yes. Are they just going to Yeah, I think we'll stay. Stay? I have no idea. Handsome dudes. Thank you. Shh. Huh? Oh. School or career? I'm starting my career. All right. You're a waiter. Uh-oh. Don't tip the waiter. Steven, get me out of here before! Before? Aw, oh, man. You sunk my battleship. Oh, no, that's my destroyer. No, battleship. Doesn't matter. This is not the game of life. Hey, it could be worse. You could be playing shoots and ladders. Bye! <laughs> You never turn away, you never leave my side And every time I call your name out just to find That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart
trust you with my heart There are days when I feel I need a friend And then I hear your voice reminding me again That you're already right here with me Never been alone I can trust you with my heart Cause this I know You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart You are more than able To lead me through the dark Your love is never failing I will trust you with my heart Whoa, whoa. I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come No matter what I go through God, you are Never gone I will trust you with my heart No matter what may come, no matter what I go through God, you are Never gonna fail me I will trust you with my heart You are always faithful You love me from the start No matter what I'm facing I will trust you with my heart you with my heart